Hi, welcome to Inspiration Station here on Entrepreneur.com. My name is Kirsten Kloss. Thanks very much for watching. On today's show, we're going to be talking about insurance, uh, and more importantly, uh, featuring a company called Acceptance Insurance. And uh, I have with us in the show today, Juliet Diorio. Uh, she is the Senior Vice President of Marketing and E-Commerce with Acceptance Insurance, uh, a non-standard auto insurance company which operates in 12 states. In addition to driving e-commerce revenue growth, uh, Juliet helps to develop new channels to market including merging technologies. Well, Juliet, thanks very much for joining us on, on the show today. It's great to have you. Thank you, Kirsten. I'm glad to be here. So uh, I understand that Acceptance Insurance um, is a non-standard insurance company. Um, so first of all, uh, can you briefly describe, you know, what, what exactly does that mean, non-standard insurance company? Sure. So non-standard car insurance uh, serves that segment of the population that has difficulty getting coverage with some of the preferred or standard carriers and things that could affect whether or not you can be covered. Um, things like your driving record, uh, potentially your credit score. Uh, so there are multiple reasons why uh, consumers seek out and, and need non-standard insurance and, and that's the need that we are there to serve. Hmm. And, and you know insurance I mean when you think of on insurance you think of large corporations and layers and layers and layers of non entrepreneurial people um, how does your company uh, you know, basically how, how does it do business that kind of bucks the trend out there maybe maybe elaborate on that a little bit sure so uh, although acceptance insurance is a, is a publicly traded company uh, I would say that we operate with a fairly uh, lean and mean mentality. Um, many, many uh, of us wear a couple of different hats and very entrepreneurial. And so, you know, for us, the challenge is, you know, yes, we, we go direct to consumers and, and that's our, our bread and butter, um, but we're always looking for new distribution channels or new ways to promote our products uh, to, to reach the audience that, that we're looking to reach. Mm. So where do you see the biggest opportunities for growth uh, for acceptance uh, in the next couple of years, for example? You know, I think one real clear area of opportunity, not just for us, but for many non-standard insurance uh, companies, is technology. So if you think about, um, you know, if, if you're, you're with one of the sort of household name insurance carriers, uh, you probably utilize a mobile app. Um, you probably do a lot of self-service uh, on the web. Um, the non-standard world, I think, has evolved maybe a little slower, um, but that has provided us with a great opportunity to almost leapfrog, you know, what the big guys have done. So one very clear opportunity, and frankly, one that we are seizing as we speak, is technology. Um, we were one of the first non-standard insurance carriers to have a mobile website at all. Hmm. Um, you know, we got to market pretty quickly, and now we're looking for ways to improve that, to make the experience better. You know, if you think of all of those mobile apps that you use every day, um, that you rely on, and, and how they make simple tasks easier, that's what we want to do for our customers. And we believe, and we've already proven, that it's an absolute game changer for us to, to leverage technology to, to make us easier to do business with. Hmm. Well, and you know, we hear the term disruptive uh, being thrown around. Uh, how, uh, how can an insurance company really be destructive, you know, basically disruptive? You know, I think I love that, that phrase because it's just so, I don't know, so in your face, right? Disruptive. Um, but I think, you know, some of the things that we talk about in, in our senior team meetings are actually not about insurance at all. They're about other consumer-facing companies that just get it right. You know, they figure out whether it's technology or, frankly, even a, a customer service approach, you know, a, a call center approach. We talk about what best-in-class companies are doing, and then, and then we attempt to emulate that and, and sort of, you know, tailor it to the insurance experience. So um, I think I don't know that 
that that would be widely considered disruptive. But, but what I think we're doing differently is we're really taking in um, what good companies are doing and, and not just looking at our competitors or, or just sort of other companies in our space. Well, it's, it's very interesting uh, that, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of moving in new directions when it comes to a, a, a very classic established industry. Um, thanks very much for, for joining us on the show today and sharing some of your thoughts, uh, Juliet. It's great to have you. Kirsten, thank you so much for, for having me. I really appreciate it. We've been speaking with Juliet Diorio, and uh, the Acceptance Insurance is the company. If you want to find out more information about that company, visit their website. It's very simple to find. It's acceptanceinsurance.com. Well, I'm Kristen Kloss. You're watching Inspiration Station here on entrepreneur.com. Thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.